Here's our look ahead to Thursday's key event, starting in Japan, where the central bank under pressure to vigorously expand monetary stimulus. Incoming Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has campaigned for more aggressive monetary action to energize the economy. Today's weak export figures play into his hands. Most economists polled by Reuters expect the BOJ to increase its 91 trillion yen asset buying and lending program by up to 10 trillion yen. The dollar hitting a 20-month high against the yen today on expectations of more easing. The European Central Bank's General and Governing Council is wrapping up a two-day meeting tomorrow. No interest rate decision will be announced. ECB policymaker Jürgen Asmussen said today he wants the bank to stop buying sovereign bonds if its new purchasing program is activated. But the country concerned didn't stick to the conditions attached. In France, the National Assembly will vote tomorrow on whether to approve the 2013 budget and the European Systemic Risk Board meeting in Frankfurt. On the data front, UK retail sales expected to rebound after October's shock drop. Economists polled by Reuters forecasting a four-tenths of 1% rise in November. Later in the day, we'll get the final reading of US Q3 GDP. That's expected to be revised up to 2.8%. Initial jobless claims in the U.S. expected to edge up after last week's sharp fall. And Eurozone consumer confidence expected to remain weak as the debt crisis cuts into people's disposable incomes. NAB's Nick Parsons says investors down on Germany, though, might want to reassess. It's possible to imagine a situation where Germany actually avoids a recession. Now, the avoidance of a recession would, I think, be give a significant boost to sentiment, especially in what is going to be an election year in Germany. Uh, and I think those uh, analysts and investors who have been aggressively bearish on the German economy may well have to reconsider those views as we start 2013 on a much firmer footing. That's our look ahead to Thursday. Don't miss uh, our interview with Irish Prime Minister Ender Kenny, plus the first part of Nomura political analyst Alistair Newton's guide to what's going to keep him awake at night in 2013. I'm Axel Threlfall. This is Reuters.